The Air Force continues to experiment with featuring a pallet, rack, box, box, mode of transporting cruise missiles that is thrown from the rear of a cargo plane as a way to turn a transport plane into a bomb missile carrier providing additional strike capacity during potential future conflicts. Dot. This fig is called the palletized munition system. For example, the C-17 Globemaster III aircraft dropped several AGM-158 JASM, Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, cruise missiles from the rear of the C-17 Globemaster III. On a previous successful trial, the U.S. Air Force is now awarding the Lockheed Martin Company a contract to prepare the C-17 Globemaster III transport aircraft to launch cruise missiles using the palletized ammunition, bomb-in-box deployment method tested on several aircraft earlier in the year. This, released SputnikNews.com on Monday, November 2, 2020. The defense contracting giant announced last week that it had received a $25 million contract from the U.S. Air Force's Office of Strategic Development Planning and Experiments SDPE, to further develop the palletized munitions pilot campaign. The contract aims for system-level demonstrations by 2021 to really fine-tune what is possible with this new weapon launch design. Although the palletized munitions program is relatively new, it moves very quickly, said Lockheed Martin Advanced Strike Systems Director Scott Calloway in a release. In May 2020, the Air Force Research Lab tested the pallet ammunition concept for the first time by rolling a modified cargo pallet behind the MC-130J Hercules transport aircraft carrying what observers expect to be two simulated AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon JSOW, precision bomb glides. Closing parenthesis dot. A second test in September 2020 saw a pallet carrying at least one AGM-158 simulated joint air-to-surface standoff missile JASM, cruise missile launched from behind the C-17 Globemaster III transport, the aircraft now selected as the base on which to expand the program. The pallet ammunition concept is an attempt to keep existing airframes relevant while addressing the need to spend years and billions of dollars designing or ordering more bombers. Attempts to find so-called arsenal aircraft and flying bomb trucks were also being tested on existing bombers, and both the B-1B Lancer and the B-52 Stratofortress are slated to carry some of the new generation of long-range missiles being developed by the Pentagon. Palletized munitions capability could enable various airlifters to deploy multiple weapons en masse via a standalone roll-on, roll-off palletization system, and could offer Air Force an alternative way of bringing more mass ammunition bombs to the battlefield, said Dr. Dean Evans, program manager for the SDPE pallet ammunition experiment, in September 2020. This isn't the first time a cargo plane has been modified to have offensive capabilities, the U.S. military operates several versions of the C-130 Hercules that can fire machine guns, rotary cannons, and even a 105mm howitzer at ground targets. Previously was the AC-47 Spooky, a C-47 transport aircraft modified with a similar weapon. In the two trials that have been carried out, the aircraft carried the AGM-158 JASM cruise missile and on other occasions the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon JSOW missile. C-17 Globemaster III is a large military transport aircraft that was developed for the United States Air Force USAF, from the 1980s to the early 1990s by McDonnell Douglas. The C-17 carries forward the name of two previous piston-engined military cargo aircraft, the Douglas C-74 Globemaster and the Douglas C-124 Globemaster II. The C-17 commonly performs tactical and strategic airlift missions, transporting troops and cargo throughout the world. Additional roles include medical evacuation and airdrop duties. It was designed to replace the Lockheed C-141 Starlifter, and also fulfill some of the duties of the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, freeing the C-5 fleet for outsized cargo. Boeing, which merged with McDonnell Douglas in 1997, continued to manufacture C-17 aircraft after the merger. The transport is in service with the U.S. Air Force along with Air Arms of India, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Qatar, United Arab Emirates, NATO Heavy Airlift Wing, and Kuwait. The final C-17 was completed at the Long Beach, California plant and flown on 29 November 2015. The C-17 Globemaster III able to airlift cargo close to a battle area. 
The size and weight of U.S. mechanized firepower and equipment have grown in recent decades from increased air mobility requirements, particularly for large or heavy non-palletized outsize cargo. It has a length of 174 feet 53 meters, and a wingspan of 169 feet 10 inches 51.77 meters. The C-17 is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW-100 turbofan engines, which are based on the commercial Pratt & Whitney PW-2040 used on the Boeing 757. Each engine is rated at 40,400 lbf 180 kN of thrust. The engine's thrust reversers direct engine exhaust air upwards and forward, reducing the chances of foreign object damage by ingestion of runway debris, and providing enough reverse thrust to back the aircraft up on the ground while taxiing. The thrust reversers can also be used in flight at idle reverse for added drag in maximum rate descents. In vortex surfing tests performed by two C-17s, up to 10% fuel savings. The AGM-158 JASM Joint Air to Surface Standoff Missile is a self-launched air-launched cruise missile developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States Armed Forces. This missile is a large, stealthy long-range weapon with a 1,000-pound, 454-kg, armored penetrating warhead. The missile completed testing and entered service with the U.S. Air Force in 2009, and entered overseas service in Australia, Finland and Poland in 2014. The long-range version of the missile, AGM-158B JASM-ER Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile Extended Range, entered service in 2014. As of September 2016, Lockheed Martin has delivered 2,000 total JASSMs consisting of both variants to the USAF. AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon JSOW. The AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapons JSOW, are part of the low-cost air-to-surface missile family manufactured by Raytheon. The JSOW family includes a wide variety of weapon variants. The AGM-154A is the base variant equipped with 145 Blue 97 sub-ammunition. The missile variant is capable of striking base bunker aircraft, trucks, armored vehicles, and surface-to-air missile system platforms. The AGM-154A-1 is an improved version of the AGM-154A, which also carries the Blue 111 warhead. The AGM-154B is equipped with six BLU-108B B tubes, which can launch four anti-armored sub-munitions against moving area targets. The AGM-154C version uses a 500 pounds brooch multi-stage warhead against fixed-point targets. The missile variant was permitted to full-stage production in December 2004 and reached initial operational capability in February 2005. The JSOWC-1 is a modified variant of the JSOWC the U.S. Navy successfully completed its first C-1 free flight test in August 2011. The C-1 achieved initial operational capability in 2016.